have to tell everyone of your audience that you actually look exactly like your pictures, if not better. <laughs> she looks exactly like what you see. <laughs> exactly the same. You just removed all my self-tanner. Oh my god, I remember when I had my deviated septum fixed in October. Oh. And I came out, they pulled me out in the gurney, put me in the recovery room. My entire face was all like bruised up and I had the cast and whatever. And I don't remember this because I was drugged up, but my husband said he saw me tearing up. And he thought, like, he, first of all, he freaked out because he never saw me like that before. He said it looked like my face got run over by a truck. And he, when he saw me crying, he thought I was in a lot of pain. So he passed, he almost passed out. Oh my god. The nurses had to catch him. I'm like, hello, I'm the one who just had surgery and you're passing out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the vampire facial that has been made super famous by Kim Kardashian a couple years ago. It's actually not called a vampire facial. It's called a PRP treatment and it actually has a lot of scientific proof to back up its claims and it actually does do wonders for your skin and i decided to put it to the test so the reason why it's called a vampire facial is because after the treatment your face looks all bloody and whatnot and for kim kardashian's sake i learned that that was exaggerated for the cameras a little bit more it's actually not as bloody as kim kardashian made it out to be so hopefully that is not gonna scare you guys away and i hope that my video can educate you guys and also change your perspective on the whole vampire facial thing and give you guys a better understanding of why this treatment is so effective so just to give you a little bit of background information information on my own personal skin story. My entire life, I pretty much had perfect skin. I've always had maybe one or two breakouts around that time of the month, and that was pretty much it. And I did mention this a couple of times in my previous videos, but for the purpose of this video, I thought that I would mention it again. So about two years ago, I went through a lot of stressful things in my life, and I guess it caused a hormonal change or shift in my body. And all of a sudden, my perfect skin went to crazy hormonal hormonal acne triggered skin where I would get a ton of hormonal acne, especially around the lower part of my face. It would be concentrated around my cheeks and jawline and also chin. And no matter what I tried, it was just getting worse and worse and worse until I really pinpointed the issue. So I just want to put it out there that the vampire facial or the PRP treatment is not meant to be used as an acne treatment. You want to first get control of your acne and have clear skin for at least six months or so before going in with this treatment because what this treatment does is basically help facilitate those natural healers in your skin. It will help treat pigmentation, acne marks, acne scars, and that is what I have been dealing with and have spent a lot of time and money trying to fix. So for me personally, because it was hormonal, I had to make a couple of lifestyle changes. And for me personally, drinking this tea made from chas tree berries, I'm going to leave it more information about it down below for you guys. If you are interested in looking into it, it has made the world of a difference. It also comes in a supplement called Vitex. And what it does is just balance out the hormones. It took maybe two or three months of drinking this tea on a daily basis to literally see my skin go from crazy hormonal breakouts to pretty much free and clear of acne. So I've continued to drink that tea up until now. I've been drinking it for a year now and I don't plan on stopping. I think it's a really great for especially the, the woman's reproductive system and hormones and just to make sure that everything is nice and balanced because there's so many things in our environment and also things that we consume all the time that can cause our hormones to fluctuate. So anything that helps balance them and bring them back to normal levels is wonderful. Another huge, huge lifestyle change that I have made a year ago was to cut out soy from my diet completely. So I don't drink soy milk. I don't eat edamame beans. I don't eat tofu. Anything that has soy in it, I stay away from it with a 10 foot pole. And that also I think has made such a huge difference. If you guys don't know, soy has has estrogen mimicking hormones in it that can trick your body into thinking that it has more estrogen than it actually does. So what happens is it 
forces your body to produce more of other hormones to try to balance out that estrogen and therefore you get that hormonal imbalance. So those were the two major things that I would say that I changed about my lifestyle that have really cleared up my skin dramatically. For the last, I would say, eight to ten months or so, I haven't had any hormonal breakouts. I do have the occasional one or two that come out during that time of the month, but for the most part, my skin has been incredible. So once I finally figured out what was causing my hormonal acne and I got it under control, then I started investigating treatments and products that would help treat the leftover acne marks, pigmentation, and acne scars that I had left over on my skin. So for me, the biggest issue was the acne scars. I mean, the pigmentation and acne marks, yeah, they were annoying, but the, at the end of the day, I could cover them up with a full coverage foundation or concealer, but the acne scars, those little indentations on your skin, those I could not cover up for the life of me, whether I used a full coverage concealer, foundation, uh, pore filling, primer, none of that worked. And to be honest, I was sick and tired of wearing a full coverage foundation. I just wanted to embrace my skin and just let it breathe and feel comfortable about being in my own skin without having a slick of makeup on. So that was really, really important to me. So I know the struggle. I know what it feels like to suffer with acne and not having any idea of what's causing it and not having any control over it I was so self-conscious about my skin so if you guys are going through that I truly truly feel for you I know how it could really take a toll on your self-confidence so that's why I thought it was so so important to make this video because it's not just about a treatment it's really about finding your self-confidence again and feeling comfortable in your own skin and guys let me tell you i feel so amazing about my skin right now and i haven't felt this way in over two years and for the first time in two years i've been able to wear a light coverage bb cream i'm wearing a bb cream today and it I can't even tell you how incredible it feels to just have my natural skin show through freckles and all. I have a ton of freckles right now because we've been having an incredible heat wave in Toronto. And I also wanted to tell you guys that this is not the first treatment I had to help me with the pigmentation, the acne marks and acne scars. I have spent so much time and money on investigating all of these different treatments. I have tried uh, micro peels, chemical peels. I've spent so much money on a ton of different potent treatments uh, from dermatologists, from over the counter to help uh, treat those issues. And nothing would work. And then I found out about PRP or the vampire facial and I was introduced to it by my friend Rosa. Rosa has actually been doing some of my facials for a pretty long time and she told me about the PRP treatment and she told me why don't you give it a try. I really think that you're a good candidate for it and basically the way that it works is it uses your body's own healing properties to facilitate collagen and elastin production in your skin. It really helps with the pigmentation it really helps fill in all of those acne scars and make your skin look smoother and more plump and tighter more hydrated more glowy all of that just sounded incredible to me so basically what prp stands for is platelet rich plasma so the way that it works is your own blood from your body is drawn into a tube and that tube is then put into a centrifuge that rotates it i think like 4500 times a minute so it rotates it really really fast for about five minutes or so until your blood is separated from the plasma that is in your blood and this tube has a special gel that separates the bad blood from the good stuff the golden part of your blood that basically has has all those healing properties and that golden liquid on the top is what we call platelet rich plasma so this platelet rich plasma is then put on your skin and micro needled into your skin using a special device and if you have acne scars like I do your plasma would also be injected into each individual scar to plump up that area and basically your plasma is rich with all of these incredible cells that promote healing so if you have a lot of scar tissue um, like I do then it would encourage your skin to heal and repair itself much faster and it also teaches your body to create more more collagen, more elastin, 
to smooth out your skin and promote healing. It's really so, so fascinating that your own body can do this. And personally, I saw results after the very first treatment. So to get the best results, Rosa does recommend getting three treatments that are spread out, I think like two or three weeks apart. My very first treatment was done in May, and then I continued on uh, with the treatments through June. So as you'll see from the clips, I'm gonna show you your skin does become red and it's very tender about a day or two after the treatment, but you can totally put makeup on after. I put makeup on um, a day after my first treatment. It was sore and tender to put on, but you couldn't really tell that I had any redness under my skin, especially if you use a full coverage uh, foundation. But obviously, if you don't need to put makeup on the next day, I would recommend not putting it on the next day. I did because I um, had a work obligation the next day. So I was pleasantly surprised that I was able to do that and cover it up. So I did this treatment every two to three weeks um, over the span of about a month and a half or two and in between each treatment i also had a co2 mask applied to my face so the first time rosa did it for me because she uh just wanted to show me how to do it properly to make sure that i get the best results and then the other two i did myself at home in between the treatments she does recommend doing it in office she can make sure that she can do it properly and that the best results can be achieved so what the co2 mask does is force oxygen to the surface of your skin it helps expedite all of those incredible benefits that you get from the prp treatment and it helps you see the results much faster so i would highly highly recommend doing the co2 mask as well if this is something that you guys are interested in i personally saw such a dramatic result after the first co2 treatment my skin looked so plump and so smooth and glowy and just incredible and it's such a fascinating experience honestly is the weirdest feeling mask i've ever put on my face but it's one of those masks that you feel like it's working you put it on and you know that it's doing something good for your skin so now what i want to do is share the footage that i took with rosa through this entire experience so that you guys can see my before and you can see what my skin looks now and you can see the difference that my skin has experienced within these last couple of months and another thing i quickly want to mention is that after your last treatment the improvements will continue to get better and better for the next two months so the fact that my skin looks the way that it looks a month after my last treatment is giving me so much hope because it's going to continue to get better for the next month or so all right so i'm going to throw in those clips now so you guys can see what this treatment is all about you're on okay so we are going to do prp also known of known as let's do it <laughs> say hi, hi my name is rosa <laughs> hi my name is rosa and i am here to do prp or also known as vampire facial which we will use uh, plasma to do some healing for some acne scarring we can promote some skin rejuvenation skin tightening healing some of the pigmentations and in general we're just going to boost the skin basically you're getting me ready for halloween early in may you will look pretty scary yes. wonderful can't wait so here rosa is applying a numbing cream to my skin that will sit on it for about 20 minutes or so that will really take the edge off of the actual treatment now Rosa is drawing my blood, so if you guys were squeamish, I would recommend turning away and not looking at this part. But basically, she is collecting a tube of my blood so she can extract my platelet-rich plasma from the gunky stuff, basically, that is not going to do anything beneficial for the skin. So this is the tube that Rosa is going to be collecting my blood in. As you can see, there is a jelly part inside of it. So basically what this gel does is separate the uh, platelet-rich plasma from the rest of the blood once you put it in a centrifuge. So after Rosa collects my blood, she's putting the tube inside of the centrifuge that is gonna rotate it about 4,500 times a minute, I believe, for five minutes. And um, by rotating it really, really fast, it's gonna help with the separation. And that gel that I showed you before is going to act as a barrier between the plasma and the stuff that we don't need in the blood. My blood's done cooking. Yeah, it's ready. Oh, wow. That's insane. So 
This is all your healing components. Wow. These are the parts that we don't really need outside your body anymore. Okay. And that was the gel, the separating gel. That's crazy. So when you look at the ratio of the plasma versus your red blood cells, uh -huh. then you'll know how hydrated you are. Okay. If they're equal, then you're dehydrated. Okay. Or less. If you have more of your plasma versus your red blood cells, mm -hmm. then you have good hydration. So good hydration? You have good hydration. Yay. Yes. I pass. Yes. So now Rosa is just removing the numbing cream from my skin so that she can start the PRP treatment on me. And now I'm going to do some microneedling. It doesn't hurt at all. So here Rosa sprayed a little bit of my plasma onto my skin and then she's going in with a microneedling device to make tiny, tiny little punctures in my skin to get that plasma to absorb into the surface of my skin. So I'm sure you guys wanna know what this feels like and if it's painful. If you guys have ever used a derma roller on your skin, that's essentially what it feels like. I think the numbing cream really takes the edge off. If it weren't for that, it probably would be a lot more painful. It's definitely bearable, at least for me. So she does the microneedling with the plasma pretty much all over my face. So my forehead, my cheeks, my jaw, my chin, my under eyes, the whole shebang. And then for those acne scars, she goes in with a syringe that's filled with my plasma and injects each one of those scars individually. And for the larger ones, she'll inject it twice or three times to plump up that area, to smooth it out and encourage uh, collagen and elastin production. Now this part of the treatment is a little bit more painful than the microneedling, but again, it's nothing that's extremely uh, painful. It's not unbearable. And I promise you guys, if you do this and if you have acne scars like I do, it's totally worth it. So as you can see, this is the most bloody part of the treatment. This is when you're going to start to bleed out and get that famous vampire look. It's perfectly normal and what Rosa is going to do is actually mix it a little bit uh, with my plasma at the very end and just uh, smooth everything over my skin and allow that to dry. And I'm going to go to sleep with this on my face and then wash it off in the morning. So this footage is from my very first PRP treatment with Rosa. I did do another two sessions with her and with each session, I feel like it gets easier and easier and your skin kind of already knows what to do and heals a lot faster afterwards. I did have some minor bruising after um, all three treatments, especially after the first one. And my skin was very sore and tender after the very first treatment, but it's nothing um, that is going to cause concern. It's nothing that you can't hide under makeup. You just want to take extra care of your skin, make sure that you're protected from the sun, and just make sure that you treat it very delicately. Make sure you use an SPF with at least 50 over and stay out of the sun for at least the first several days after the treatment. And use a good hyaluronic acid uh, cream or moisturizer and you will be all set. So this is what my skin looked like after the first PRP treatment and this is how I went home that day. Gorgeous. I look pretty. The client is ready. <laughs> <laughs> ready for the red carpet. Okay, Rosa, so what are we doing today? We are doing oxygel or carbon dioxide mask, which has a liquid gel and a sheet for the face and the neck, which makes your skin hydrated. It also helps with, if you're about to break out, it helps it calm down. Um, usually closer to your menstruation period is the time that I, personally I use it and it brings lots of oxygen and water to the area so after the treatments like PRP, microneedling, pretty much all kinds of treatments you can use this and you can uh, boost whatever result you want to get from the other treatments. Okay, so this is the CO2 mask or the carbon dioxide mask that I was telling you about in the intro of this video. This is the mask that I was doing in between treatments to kind of expedite my results, help with the healing process, encourage oxygen uh, to my skin, and just help with the overall results of the PRP treatment. 
If you're going to be doing the PRP treatment, I highly, highly recommend doing this mask in between because I saw a huge difference after using it. Even after the first one, I could totally see such a huge difference in my skin. It looked smoother, it was glowy, it was more hydrated, and it felt amazing. And honestly, the sensation of this mask is the weirdest and coolest feeling ever. It kind of feels like uh, Pop Rocks popping on your skin if you've ever eaten um, Pop Rocks candy. It's very, very interesting. Interesting. So here Rosa is applying the gel to my skin. So this gel has a bunch of incredible ingredients in it. It has like caffeine, eucalyptus, licorice extract, and a bunch of other incredible ingredients. You want to put on a thick layer onto the skin so that it reacts well with the dry sheet mask that is going to go over top. And honestly, this part, it feels really, really nice. It feels very cooling on the skin and very, very comfortable. Sheet. And I like to remove the eye panels a little higher. All right, do you want to keep it close so you can hear it and everybody else can hear it? Yeah. Perfect. Ready? It's like a fizzing sound. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, now I feel the pain. Just that it's burning. Like a burning pain. Now, around the eyes and around the mouth are a little bit more sensitive than the rest of the places. This is where you feel it. Now if you use it a few times, I would say two, three times, then it's not as uncomfortable as it is the first time. Do you feel it here? Mm-hmm. It is a great antibacterial and antifungal combination of botanic sources. It's all natural. This reaction takes about four or five minutes to end. And then we'll just leave it on. So this is all CO2 bubbles releasing to the skin. It's crazy. And then the process of CO2 being transferred into the skin is also very interesting because it actually makes your skin tighter. So here, Rosa applied the dry sheet mask onto my skin and the ingredient that makes it react with the gel is um, sodium bicarbonate, which is basically baking soda. And it creates this really cool fizzing sensation that kind of leaves like a tingling or burning sensation on the skin. It um, is a little bit uncomfortable, I have to say, but it's definitely not painful. And the discomfort lasts for a couple seconds or so, but you feel it really penetrating your skin and working on your skin. And there's no downtime whatsoever. You can go out and about immediately after this treatment. Personally, my skin was not even red after this treatment. So it is a very soothing and relaxing kind of treatment. And and I really, really enjoyed it. You know, it reminds me of, you know, those like um, Pop Rocks candies that you yes. dip in that fizz? Yes. That's what it feels on your face. Yeah. Hey, try not to put your fingers on the screen, like hold it like this, like on the sides. Oh, okay, got it, there got it. Go. Now the screen is on? Yes. Okay, now watch this. So as you can see, immediately after this uh, mask, my skin looks so nice and glowy. I still have some bruising here after my first PRP treatment, but that went away within a week or so. Honestly, I love this. Rosa really recommends doing this even during that time of the month or if you have a special event because it has very good um, antibacterial properties. So if you do have a breakout during that time of the month, it's going to zap it in its spot and dry it out much faster so you can enjoy clearer, more glowy, hydrated skin. So here Rosa is just removing any excess gel from my skin after the CO2 mask and then she is applying a very hydrating uh, moisturizer that has hyaluronic acid. Actually, I believe this one is just a pure hyaluronic acid. And the reason why she does that is because hyaluronic acid attracts water. So it's gonna draw water to the surface of the skin, helping it look plumper, smoother, more hydrated and more glowy. 
So that is basically the entire process. I did repeat the PRP treatment and the CO2 mask another two times each. So I did the PRP treatments in office with Rosa and then in between I did the CO2 masks at home. And as of recording this video, I just had my last PRP treatment about three or four weeks ago and my skin is looking better and better every single day. Rosa said that I'm gonna continue to see uh, improvements up to two months after my last PRP treatment. So that's awesome. So that was my PRP treatment journey and experience. Honestly, if I knew that I would get the results that I did, I would have done this treatment so long ago. And I want to thank Rosa for introducing me to this treatment because honestly, if it weren't for her, I never would have thought to have done it. And I'm so grateful to her. PRP treatments are not cheap. I have to put it right out there. But honestly, if you have been trying everything to smooth out your skin, get rid of acne scars and acne marks and pigmentation and all that, that and everything that you have tried has just not been working. I highly, highly recommend trying this out. I mean, the micro peels that I tried were not cheap either and they were not even close to giving me the results that the PRP treatment gave me. So basically what Rosa is offering my subscribers exclusively is a package of three PRP treatments and three CO2 mask treatments in her clinic for $1,400. So basically you are getting a PRP treatment and a CO2 mask treatment for free. And not only that, she already discounted that package by like almost half because most clinics offer just one PRP treatment for $1,200 and she's offering it to you guys for $700. So essentially you're paying for two PRP treatments, $700 each. And with that, you are getting another PRP treatment for free plus three CO2 masks for free, which is such an incredible deal. I think that comes out to being like $230 per treatment if you were to divide for the $1,400 by the six treatments that you were getting. And I have to put this out there because I know there's gonna be people that are gonna wonder if, you know, I'm incentivized to say what I'm saying. Absolutely not. I'm not getting paid one penny to say what I'm saying. I'm just sharing this information with you guys, honestly, because this is the only thing that has made such a huge difference in my overall healing process. Step one was getting the acne under control. Step two was finally getting my skin back to the way that it was before my hormonal acne episode. This experience has finally made me feel so confident in my own skin and I finally feel like I have my skin back, like I have my life back in a way and I don't have to worry about going out in public without any makeup on my skin. I feel confident, I feel beautiful, and I would honestly do this all over again. So if this is something that you guys are struggling with and are looking for answers to, I'd highly, highly recommend reaching out to Rosa, getting more information from her. Again, she is so, so knowledgeable, not only about this, but so many other skin concerns, and I'm confident that she can help you guys out with it. So if you are located in Toronto or the GTA, I'm gonna leave all of her contact information in my description box below. I'll also leave whatever I can on the screen here so you can reach out to her and contact her and let her know that I sent you. That way she'll know where you're coming from. And if you are interested in trying out the PRP treatment, you are in such amazing good hands if you go with Rosa. So that's all I wanted to talk about in today's video. It's probably going to be on the longer side of things, but there's a lot of information um, that I wanted to share with you guys. And I wanted to really bring you along on my journey and my experience and let you know how much it has changed my life. So... I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions for me, um, leave them down for me in the comments below. I'm gonna try to go through them all and answer them all to the best of my ability. And as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.